but but Paja. Okay. Are you gonna? Okay. Seems like a good time to fresh on a German edition with a mental wellness program. Lexi. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> yes, I got a cool glitch. That's what I was hoping for. After you've come to terms with yourself and, uh, you know, not, <laughs> wow. Uh, we were not in the kitchen though. I think that's, uh, that's the problem here is, uh, you know what we saw back Yep, there, okay, right? we're, we're glitch. This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. He's definitely dangerous. So dangerous, I'm not sure we're ready to deal with him. Take him out. All we need is a plan. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the cat do, it turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will <laughs> follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to, take the collateral damage. There's better ways to stop him than brute force. Maybe. But I'm not gonna let an enemy get close enough to pry my plates open and go for the soft kill. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly each and every time. Another galaxy, and there are still despots. We saw similar types back when I worked as a peacekeeper. Pirates attacking the colonies. We trained the colonists and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon, he's got an army to back up his crazy. But I've got you, and everyone else on board. <laughs> I've got you. <laughs> True enough. Never underestimate a small, capable strike force. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. <sighs> we'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep. So when we <laughs> take yep. him down, let's make sure he stays down. Okay. You, uh, you have fun with your, uh, your, uh, identical twin here. Wow, this is, I could talk to both of them. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Bye. Can I talk to you yet? Oh, crap. Okay. Now we're in the storage basement. I haven't been able to, she hasn't done much of anything. Vetra, something's wrong. Something's wrong with my ship. I feel like, uh, Looks like oh pictures crap. pictures of the exaltation chamber. Okay, yeah. yep, the things are wrong. The Mangaran made medical equipment. Could be a lead. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd, well, imagine if it was Scott. don't know what I'd do. We're all that's left of our family. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left, and I was, well, her age now. I know what it's like to lose a parent. I've lost both now. Mom died before we left. Our father didn't die. Or maybe he did. We don't really know. He just didn't come home. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually, it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. Come on, you're strong, smart. It'll take a lot to keep you from coming home. Strong, smart, but maybe just lucky. Luck runs out on you. I won't. Oh! <laughs> Did you see her? I'm a good 
feeling about you, Ryder. Did you see her jaw flaps? That I was should get cute. Back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later. Yes, you know a girlfriend. You know a girlfriend, and apparently I'm in the basement again. Why? Why is the nomad up? Why? What? What have you done to the nomad, and why? Oh, uh, right. Liam's down here. Liam. Again with the shirtless state. Okay, it's fine. Hard. All the time. Started young. Smart little kid. Got angry a lot. Side effect of giving a shit. <laughs> Liam, what's going on? We found that facility on Vault. Kicked them in the teeth. Great. But the cats steal what people are. Everyone should have a stake in that. Yeah, they... Wow. So I reached out. Trying to get resources moving in a real way. Bridge that gap like I did with Joe. I can't get permission coming or going. The Nexus, Aya, everyone is all. Can't take risks with outsiders. I didn't come here so everyone could be goddamn outsiders. You're taking on a lot, making all of Helios your problem. It is our problem. We're not going back. We have to make it work. I wanted this. Everything new. But eventually, it, it has to be normal. I need something familiar. Can I show you something? Did you bring anything? Besides your way? naked, naked chest? One or two things. But the weight limits were real strict. I know. That's why I made arrangements. <laughs> It's a proper petrol burner. Wow. 20th century. British. From when that mattered. My whole family worked here together. Weekends. <laughs> like those are a thing in space. Know what we did? Friends and Hustle set us up good. They borrowed us a transport right before I went into cryo. No way. And me and my father and mother loaded our car into it and pointed it at Andromeda. Wow. It's a nice gesture, but... You know you won't see it again. Oh, it's, it's a couple million years away at standard light. The important thing is, it's coming. Well, that's it real sweet. Will. I don't know what that means. Uh. Oh, dang, man. I don't know, man. It means your family, the Angara, this team. We're all lucky you care so much. Uh, I'll probably screw it up, Pathfinder. Join the club. The screw up started 600 years ago. Truth. This will be home. It has to be. I won't let being outsiders stop that. I don't mind you walking around without a shirt on. I have zero problem with that, though. Let's just get that out of the way. Uh, <laughs> you should not wear a shirt forever. Pathfinder, sorry if things got strange last time we talked. You're the first person I told about all that. It, um, felt really good. Count on me, Costa. Anytime. Starting to feel like I could. Maybe we could spend some time off ship just doing Cool! Things. This is cute! <laughs> That'd be great. Some things I'd like your eyes on. No rush. Unlike everything else. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. Let's go talk to Vetra again and see if anything happens if we talk to Vetra again. I thought I hated the cat before. Yeah. Then we learned about exaltation. I can't even begin to imagine how Jal feels about this. I was curious about you and Sid, being on your own from such a young age. Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend it. Where was home? Palavin? No, we'd already left Palavin by then. Whatever our dad was involved in meant we weren't welcome there. 
I hadn't even gone to boot camp yet. Wow. Sid was barely a year old. We eventually settled in a mining colony in the Minos Wasteland. Two years later, our dad was gone. How did he keep you and your sister afloat? I was barely more than a kid myself, so lots of unskilled work. Construction jobs. No one else would do the dangerous stuff, so I would. Being up high, crawling under things. I could shoot a gun, so eventually I moved into smuggling. Even more dangerous, but lucrative. We were never rich, but we got to comfortable. Where was your mother in all this? Back on Palavan, I suppose. She was an awful person. All she cared about was climbing the ranks. She and my dad fought all the time. I think at the end they hated each other. When things were really tough, I thought about going back. But she wouldn't have accepted us. Whenever my dad did, destroyed any chance of that. I'm sorry, jeez. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. <laughs> you know where to find me. Jeez. Oh. It seems like a very abrupt place to cut it off there, jeez. Oh well. It is what it is. That was really intense though. I mean, do they change their shape based on whoever they take? I don't know. I know. Uh, would you mind taking a slight detour and dropping me back <laughs> in the Milky Way? <laughs> no problem. Little something I just heard about called exaltation. Guess you should have read the fine print on the initiative brochure. Or read it at all. I gotta start eating more protein and getting a full night's sleep. It'll take everything we got to get through this mess. Out with it already. What's the deal with <laughs> you and Callow? Anything I should be concerned about? Uh, twist my arm, why don't you? It, it's contrasting what styles more than anything. He's a blueprint guy. I'm gears and guts. Got ink on his digits, not grease, up to his elbows. If you didn't have me to balance him out, you might be in trouble. <sighs> Heck, maybe that goes both ways. Oh, that's Gil seems like a legit dude. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Like, like he, like, that was good of him to admit that it could maybe go both ways. Let's see, so we got Gil, Lexi, PB's in there. Lexi's, in, PB and Lexi are in the same room. Interesting. And we talked to, oh no, we haven't, we did talk to Drac, we haven't talked to Sam. We talked to Liam and Vetra. Okay, so we got everybody on the bottom floor, right? Except for Sam, who's in my room. Which way? I keep wanting to boost myself out. Take other species' genes. Asari, take other species' traits. Phoebe, don't tell me we actually agree on something. Changed my mind. They're nothing alike. <sighs> nice. Ryder, exaltation? I never imagined we were fighting Angara. It kills me to think about it. We have to stop the Archon, whatever he's up to. The more we learn, the more I realize how much bigger than me this all is. Jeez, okay. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Going through the readouts from the cat facility. I've never seen such advanced genetic technology. Frankly, it's light years ahead of our capabilities. Hmm. I'd love to hear more. To I'll be here if you need me. I really would, you know. I'd like to know what her thoughts are. <sighs> oh, right. I can collect rewards. What's my reward? Research points. Okay, cool. Minerals, research data, military pods. 
receive organic tech materials, reconnaissance, nah. Ugh, I don't care. Mm. Ooh, earn credits. Let's increase inventory, yeah. Not that it's actually been a problem, but you know. Yay. <laughs> Uh, Jal, you doing okay, Jal? It's not gonna be good. It's not gonna be good. Jal. Thank you for checking. But I'm all right. Don't know if I would be. I have to be. How else do we go on? You know? I may seem tough, but I have a good shoulder. That's... Wow, that kind. was that was roundabout way to say that. Kind. I really miss my family at times like these. Are you close to your family? You talk about family a lot. <laughs> really? I guess it's just part of our culture. Our families are large, and we share our parents with the community. We all have many mothers. My family's small. And are you close? I was. Am. My mom and dad are dead. My brother's in a medically induced coma. I'm kind of an orphan at the moment. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, this random collection <laughs> of Tempest oddballs can feel like family sometimes. Yeah. All right. I never really felt I had a purpose. But here, I do. What about the resistance? My place in the Resistance is not what I'd like. But that kid on Aya looked up to you. Sure. But you are going to do something important, Ryder. I feel it. This is where I should be. Uh? I like having you around. Specifically you. Because of my skill and knowledge? <laughs> not really. <clears throat> because you enjoy spending time with me as much as I do with you. You do? Yes. You're fascinating. <laughs> oh my gosh. And special. And strange. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna cry. That was really nice. There's always more to say and to learn. Isn't what about you? <laughs> can I ask you a few more questions? Of course. If I can answer them, I will. Oh, uh, family. Can first. you tell me about your family? Uh, assuming you have he one. He just he Sit just down. said that. This will take time. Is someone bringing us snacks and drinks? <laughs> your family's that big. <laughs> what? I have. One true mother, Sohuna, and more than five additional mothers, and many, many, many siblings. Many, <laughs> many. And cousins, all raised together. Our families constantly change and evolve. Relationships come and they go. My father is gone, taken, or killed by the cat. We never found his body. But we were. At least sort of, I don't know. I'm sorry about that, Jal. I understand. I just lost my dad. <laughs> Something in common between aliens, then. We are fatherless. Yet we fight on. Anything else you want to ask? Did you always want to be a fighter? Did you study anything particular in school? I... No. I don't like to talk about it. But I'm not a fighter. Not really. The Ket occupation creates chaos. So our education is chaotic. <laughs> I'm not really anything. But that's an excuse. The truth is, I don't know what I want. Yet, for my life, at 
my age. <laughs> I hope being here will inspire me. I feel you. I feel you. Do Angara plan their futures? Do you dream about what you want to accomplish? <laughs> you put plan and dream in the same question. You know, man, you know. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. You meant to do that. Angara thirst for now. We don't strive to make the future better. We strive because the present is lacking. Hmm. Okay, I well, do kind of like that, about though. That. I'll see you later, Joel. Stay strong and clear. Well, you as well. I'm just gonna look up into the sky for a minute. Okay, so we talked to... Time to talk to Korra. Korra's obviously got something to say because her door is closed. They aren't just conquerors or slavers. The Ket turn everything you are to their advantage. Worst kind of enemy. The one that makes you fight your own people. It's too late for the Exalted. We can't let feelings get in the way. That's what gets me. The Exalted aren't converts. They're Ket. You're pretty worked up about this. Kandros wants strategies for handling the Ket. I talked with Drac, putting ideas together. Expand our guerrilla tactics, get Angaran military advisors, research exaltation. Just, I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. Why? This all looks fine to me. Nasira, your father, they always had a plan I could follow. Without one, it's too easy for people to get hurt. Like now. The initiative's plans are shot, and people die because of it. She, I think, Cora isn't really one to take charge. She likes having a plan. She likes being second in command. Like, she likes being in charge of herself, but I think because she's so worried about being out of control herself, she's worried about making the plans, you know, type thing. Like, she likes to have a set strategy and schedule coming from somebody she respects and who has control over themselves and thereby, in her mind, their environment, you know? We're facing challenges we could never have prepared for. At least now we can prepare to fight the cat. Sarissa will have a strategy. Just need to find her and the other Asari. It'll be good to have certainty again. You and Liam. Hi there. Bye. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Wow. I believe... Nope, we gotta talk to the people at the front. We gotta talk to Drac, too. Let's see. Oops. Nope, I'm trying to get to the back. I talked to PB, Lexi, Jaw, Suvi, and Callow are the only ones left, I think. Callow. Oh. Settle down. If this isn't a good reason to get excited. What's up? You guys aren't fighting, are you? Why would I fight with my best friend? Best friend? Aww. Oh, Callow. <laughs> Callow's very excited about a report I received from Eos. It's good news. The radiation levels are steadily dropping. Your outpost, Prodromos, is really going to make it. When do you want to head back? Um, is there a rush? Just saying, if I'd created a thriving community in a brand new galaxy, I'd want to visit. Just wait till they put in the beach and the water slide. Now you're just playing with me. <laughs> so, radiation levels are down. More to explore? I yes, but there's been a rise in cat activity as well. Figures that we're not the only ones to benefit from the planet's improvement. Might be nice to see how it's doing. Almost like a vacation. Almost. Maybe we'll head back at some point. Well, you're the boss. Just say the word. You guys really want to go back to Eos? Jeez. I don't want to go back. I only finished a third of the map and I have the no interest in going back. Down significantly, and I seem to be able to talk normally again. Good. Keep me updated, and remember, cool food and liquid only. Nothing spicy. Thank you, Lexi. Is there something wrong? Did you hurt yourself? Oh, it's nothing. 
I'm just getting over some inflammation of the soft tissues of the mouth. It was dramatic, but ultimately non-threatening. I... What? Have you ever heard of the lick test? <laughs> Back before scanners were portable, yes. Earth scientists would employ this test in the field. They used it to tell rocks from fossils and get a basic idea of their mineral composition. <laughs> you licked a rock, didn't you? I was distracted and forgot it was a Helios rock. I do it unconsciously. When I was little, my father and I would go on expeditions. The lick test was a huge part of it. He made science fun for me. <laughs> Your mother was something of a scientist, wasn't she? She specialized in biotics research. Got her start in medicine. I read all about her research and your father's. AI and implants. They achieved so much in so little time. Sam is an astounding achievement. I left mm. my parents back home. They told me they were proud of me. And then lived out their lives while I slept. If I were them, I'd be proud too. You came here for the sake of science. That takes courage. Some crazy, but... Mostly courage. I'm sure they knew that. <laughs> Thank you, Raider. I needed that. Anytime. It does make you sad to think about that some people left like families and stuff behind. It's basically like they died. These people just watched their kids get into cryopods and basically so had to give them a funeral. Getting our systems coordinated. You can't just strip and redesign those connections on the fly. Gil, I know you can hear me. The whole ship can hear you. I'm just not listening. You're fighting again? I'm thinking the same, believe me. <sighs> what can I do for you? Oh my gosh. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. You too. Just need to chill. You need to chill. Let's see, does PB have anything to say? I think I already talked to her, but I'm just not sure. Okay, just making sure. Let's see, do I have any new... Whoa. Intel on Ket. My name is Rilas, I serve the Angarn Resistance. Some of our scouts have returned with interesting information about the Ket that I'm certain will intrigue you. Stress tests. From Callow. A little rider quite the rescue. The tip is intended for that kind of operation, but she's performing splendidly. Not that I encourage you risking your life for stress tests or anything. Still, well done. I spoke to the Moshe when I happened past the medbay. She left an impression, I must say. Patient, but remarkably driven. It's easy to see how she was with the pressures of torture in that place. Sometimes I wonder what my people could do with a bit more time to be patient. Ah, yeah, yeah. To, from Gil. Worked 42 hours straight. Ship's humming. Called it quits to get a little shot. But I'm wide awake here. I figured I'd use the time to practice my poetry. Oh, okay. Didn't know I would practice poetry, neither did I. Probably because I didn't. I don't, but here it goes. Helios, are you healing us, or will we regret ever coming because the cat are forever bumming our space? Wait a minute, is that actually good? Or has the analytical sphere of my brain fallen asleep? You know what? You know how am I researching for my true purpose? Yeah, poetry ain't it. Helios, are you healing us? Nuff said. Thanks for listening. From aw, that's sweet. Retro, thanks for listening to me. I wouldn't come across whiny. Could my life have been different? Sure. Could have had a dad, a mom, a rigid upbringing, and great prospects in the attorney and civil service with the stiff collars and the yes sirs to go along. What I'm saying is different is not always better. I don't regret anything or what I've done to get where I am. Don't regret coming here either. That's good. I mean, she is very, very different from a normal Turian. Like, or from, like, one that was brought up in that system, you know? So... It's different, but it's good. It's good. It's all good. Let's save. Not really a holiday destination. Uh, yeah, Ryder. We'll go back later, but we. Got, I want to finish this thing, whatever it is. I mean, we have the Moshe on board. I feel like we shouldn't stay, you know? Like, she needs to get back to her own medical facilities. I can feel the Scourge's drag on the ship. I was wondering if we were gonna encounter the Scourge again. Oh, look at that. Shoot. It's right there.
Yes, I realize that. Ooh, are we gonna fly through the scourge a little bit? Interesting that it keeps Aya hidden. I wonder if Aya is always like that. Alright, Liam wants to go out. Maybe not quite now, buddy boy. We gotta wait. That'd be fun, though. Beautiful, beautiful. We should be pretty palsy with the Angara now. <laughs> Now that we brought the Moshe back. Oh, we can all get off this time. Yay. Stars and skies light our way. Stars and skies light our way. She knows how to play a crowd. <laughs> She's the Moshe. Welcome home. I never thought I'd see it again. Without the Resistance and the Pathfinder, I wouldn't be here. We made a good team. We freed more than just the Moshai. And the Pathfinder killed a Ket leader. We have a lot to celebrate. I promise to lead the Pathfinder to Aya's vault. You're still recovering. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Not without our help. I'll prepare the vault for your arrival. A shuttle will bring you to me when it's ready. Thank you, Moshai. We've been alone against the Ket for too long. You've proven it doesn't have to be that way. It's time we discussed an alliance between our people. We're happy to make room for you on the Nexus. We'll provide an embassy here as well. Our city is open to you. Join us. Woo! How, how's it going? Well done, Joel. Report for reassignment. I need to stay with the Pathfinder. Joel has already become a valued member of my crew. Of course he has. I see the benefit. Request granted. I need to file a mission report. Don't leave Aya without me. Of course not. <laughs> You're a potential romance. Uh, take the shuttle to the Aya vault now. All right then, apparently it's ready now. I need to go get the history for that one lady, though. I just couldn't access it. Their vault is active, though, right? And there's nothing wrong with it, I don't think? I haven't brought anyone here in over 20 years. There's always been an active display for Aya, but we could never affect it. Let's see what we can do. Sam? Oh shoot, I forgot to talk to Sam about the the thing with the uh, Garans, the cat. Huh. Yes, this is new. Is it similar to the vault on Eos? Tell me, what are you seeing? If I'm seeing what I think I'm seeing, I've got goosebumps. Tell me, what do you see? The vaults. They're a network, as you discovered. However... They're not connected to each other, but to this place. This image was on a relic the Archon showed me. He called it Meridian. And it looks like Aya's vault is the only one that's fully connected to it. And it's terraforming, doing what it was meant to do. The vault on Eos is also present, but changed. Our interfacing with it has affected its connection. What do you think, Professor? 
I think that Meridian is the control center for all the vaults. Thank you. This is unbelievable. If we can get to Meridian, maybe we can turn everything on from there. Make Helios live. Wait, Ryder. The Archon knows where it is. He's already been there. What? Where? Meridian? Of course. That's why he tortured me. He thought I could help him use it. Because he can't. Meridian is my people's best chance for survival. We have to take it from him. Agreed. Such power in the hands of such evil could mean the end of your people. And mine. Gonna make him so sorry. No one is safe as long as he's on this hunt. I'm going to shut it down. For all our sakes. Ooh. You're going to need that relic I saw. The Resistance might have intel on the whereabouts of Archon's ship. I'll talk to Ephra and secure his full cooperation. Meet me there. Uh, well, uh, geez. Um, this is going quickly. Well, but it, is that like, is it, am I like going towards the end game or what? Well, I think I saw somewhere that you have to finish a trail of hope to open up a bunch of other things. But I guess we'll just take it easy. I don't know. There's a whole bunch of other side quests we could do, but I kind of want to focus on main stuff for now. Basically, I want to get the last romance option because I want to I want to know what all my options are before I do anything, before I commit to anything permanent. Apparently, there's one planet side, and I kind of like the idea of a planet side romance. I don't know; it appeals to me uh, in this strange romantic way. I don't know. I like I like the idea of it though, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. I hope I haven't been too boring because of my quiet voice. Um, but yeah, I appreciate it. I'm excited. There's a, there's lots to do. <laughs> so much. And I'm going to be so far ahead by the time you guys watch these. But I appreciate, I appreciate all your support. I do read the comments and I, if you have any, if anybody has, you know, any hints or warnings, it's like, you know, is the end game coming which i seriously doubt but you know it's always a worry so but i mean feel free to leave that kind of stuff no spoilers but you know you know what i'm saying you guys are good you guys have helped me out before so anyway thank you all very much for joining me i appreciate it and i will see you in the next one